The Burmese language Burmese, MLCTS, M Ranmabasa, IPA, Mijma Ba is the Sino-Tibetan language spoken in Myanmar where it is an official language and the language of the Bamar people, the country's principal ethnic group. Although the constitution of Myanmar officially recognizes the English name of the language as the Myanmar language, most English speakers continue to refer to the language as Burmese, after Burma, the older name for Myanmar. In 2007, it was spoken as a first language by 33 million, primarily the Bamar people and related ethnic groups, and as a second language by 10 million, particularly ethnic minorities in Myanmar and neighboring countries. Burmese is a tonal, pitch register, and syllable-timed language, largely monosyllabic and analytic, with a subject-object verb word order. It is a member of the Lolo-Burmese grouping of the Sino-Tibetan language family. The Burmese alphabet is ultimately descended from a Brahmic script, either Kadamba or Pallava. Classification Burmese belongs to the Southern Burmish branch of the Sino-Tibetan languages. Burmese is the most widely spoken of the non-Sinitic Sino-Tibetan languages. Burmese was the fifth of the Sino-Tibetan languages to develop a writing system, after Chinese characters, the Pyu script, the Tibetan alphabet and the Tangut script. Dialects <inaudible> 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 The majority of Burmese speakers, who live throughout the Irrawaddy River Valley, use a number of largely similar dialects, while a minority speak non-standard dialects found in the peripheral areas of the country. These dialects include Tanantheri region, Mergiz Maik, Beek, Tavoyan Dewey, and Pala Magwe region, Ya Shan state, Intha, Tongyo and Danuarakanese Rakhine in Rakhine state and Marma in Bangladesh are also sometimes considered dialects of Burmese and sometimes as separate languages. Despite vocabulary and pronunciation differences, there is mutual intelligibility among Burmese dialects, as for the most part, they share the same four tones, consonant clusters and the use of the Burmese script. However, several dialects substantially differ in Burmese with respect to vocabulary, lexical particles, and rhymes. Irrawaddy River Valley The standard dialect of Burmese the Mandalay-Yangon dialect continuum comes from the Irrawaddy River Valley. Regional differences between speakers from Upper Burma e.g., Mandalay dialect, called Anyadeh, and speakers from Lower Burma e.g., Yangon dialect, called Okta, occur in vocabulary choice, not in pronunciation. Minor pronunciation differences do exist within the Irrawaddy River Valley. For instance, for the term, food offering to a monk, Lower Burmese speakers use s instead of s -wa, which is the pronunciation used in Upper Burma. The standard dialect is represented by the Yangon dialect because of the modern city's media influence and economic clout. In the past, the Mandalay dialect represented standard Burmese. The most noticeable feature of the Mandalay dialect is its use of the first person pronoun, kya.now by both men and women, whereas in Yangon, the said pronoun is used only by male speakers while, kya.ma, tma, is used by female speakers. Moreover, with regard to kinship terminology, Upper Burmese speakers differentiate the maternal and paternal sides of a family whereas Lower Burmese speakers do not. Topic. Spread of Burmese in Lower Burma Spoken Burmese is remarkably uniform among Burmese speakers, particularly those living in the Irrawaddy Valley, who all use variants of standard Burmese. The first major reason for the uniformity is the traditional Buddhist monastic education system, which encouraged education and uniformity in language throughout the upper Irrawaddy Valley, the traditional homeland of the Bamar people. According to the 1891 British census conducted five years after the annexation of the entire country, Kanbong Burma had an unusually high male literacy rate where 62.5% of age 25 and over in Upper Burma could read and write. The figure would have been much higher if non bamers e.g., Chins, Kachins, etc. were excluded. For the whole country, the literacy rate was 49% for men and 5.5% for women. The migration of Burmese speakers of Bamar descent to Lower Burma is relatively recent. As late as the mid 1700s, the Austroasiatic language Mon was the principal language of Lower Burma and the Mon people who inhabited it. 
After the Burmese-speaking Kanbong dynasty's victory over the Mon-speaking restored Hanthawadi kingdom in 1757, the shift to Burmese began in Lower Burma. By 1830, an estimated 90% of the population in the region identified themselves as Bamar and, as such, Burmese speakers due the influx from Upper Burma, assimilation, and intermarriage. In the British colonial era, British incentives, particularly geared toward rice production, as well as political instability in Upper Burma, accelerated this migration. Outside the Irrawaddy Basin More distinctive non-standard varieties emerge as one moves farther away from the Irrawaddy River Valley toward peripheral areas of the country. These varieties include the Ya, Pala, Maik, Mergis, Tavoyan and Intha dialects. Despite substantial vocabulary and pronunciation differences, there is mutual intelligibility among most Burmese dialects. Dialects in Tananthari region, including Pala, Mergis and Tavoyan, are especially conservative in comparison to standard Burmese. The Tavoyan and Intha dialects have preserved the L medial, which is otherwise only found in old Burmese inscriptions. They also often reduce the intensity of the glottal stop. Maik has 250,000 speakers while Tavoyan has 400,000. The most pronounced feature of the Arakanese language of Rakhine state is its retention of the sound, which has become a j sound in standard Burmese. Also, Arakanese features a variety of vowel differences, including the merger of the e and i vowels. Hence, a word like blood is pronounced theta way in standard Burmese and theta y in Arakanese. Topic: <inaudible> Registers. <inaudible> Burmese is a diglossic language with two distinguishable registers or diglossic varieties. Literary high h form m ranma ca the high variety formal and written used in literature, formal writing, newspapers, radio broadcasts and formal speeches. Spoken low L form, M ranma ca, ka smiley face, the low variety informal and spoken, used in daily conversation, television, comics and literature informal writing the literary form of Burmese retains archaic and conservative grammatical structures and modifiers including particles, markers and pronouns no longer used in the colloquial form. In most cases, the corresponding grammatical markers in the literary and spoken forms are totally unrelated to each other. Examples of this phenomenon include the following lexical items. This pronoun, hi, i lo, d. That pronoun, hi, htui lo, way. At postposition, hi, hnai, n, a, lo, hma, m, a grave. Plural marker, hi, mya, lo, twe. Possessive marker, hi, i, lo, re. And Conjunction, hi, h nong. Lo, ne. If. Conjunction, hi, halayang lo, rang. Historically, the literary register was preferred for written Burmese on the grounds that the spoken style lacks gravity, authority, dignity. In the mid 1960s, some Burmese writers spearheaded efforts to abandon the literary form, asserting that the spoken vernacular form ought to be used. Some Burmese linguists such as Min Lat, a Czech academic, proposed moving away from the high form of Burmese altogether. Although the literary form is heavily used in written contexts literary and scholarly works, radio news broadcasts, and novels, the recent trend has been to accommodate the spoken form in informal written contexts. Nowadays, television news broadcasts, comics, and commercial publications use the spoken form or a combination of the spoken and simpler, less ornate formal forms. The following sample sentence reveals that differences between literary and spoken Burmese mostly occur in grammatical particles. Spoken Burmese has politeness levels and honorifics that take the speaker's status and age in relation to the audience into account. The particle, pa, is frequently used after a verb to express politeness. Moreover, Burmese pronouns relay varying degrees of deference or respect. In many instances, polite speech e.g., addressing teachers, officials, or elders employs feudal-era third-person pronouns or kinship terms in lieu of first- and second-person pronouns. Furthermore, with regard to vocabulary choice, spoken Burmese clearly distinguishes the Buddhist clergy monks from the laity householders, especially when speaking to or about bhikkhus monks. The following are examples of varying vocabulary used for Buddhist clergy and for laity. 
sleep verb kyan te for monks versus ip e for laity die verb piam tau mu pia di mu for monks versus se theta e grave for laity topic vocabulary Burmese primarily has a monosyllabic received Sino-Tibetan vocabulary. Nonetheless, many words, especially loanwords from Indo-European languages like English, are polysyllabic, and others, from Mon, an Austroasiatic language, are sesquisyllabic. Burmese loanwords are overwhelmingly in the form of nouns. Historically, Pali, the liturgical language of Theravada Buddhism, had a profound influence on Burmese vocabulary. Burmese has readily adopted words of Pali origin because of phonotactic similarities between two languages alongside the fact that the script used for Burmese can reproduce Pali spellings with complete accuracy. Pali loanwords are often related to religion, government, arts, and science. Burmese loanwords from Pali primarily take four forms direct loan, direct import of Pali words with no alteration in orthography. Life, Pali, Jiva Burmese, Jiva. Abbreviated loan, import of Pali words with accompanied syllable reduction and alteration in orthography usually by means of a placing a diacritic, called a that, lit. Non-existence. Atop the last letter in the syllable to suppress the consonant's inherent vowel. Karma. Pali, kama Burmese, kam. Don. Pali, aruna Burmese, arun. Merit. Pali, kusala Burmese, kusuil. Double loan, adoption of two different terms derived from the same Pali word Pali, mana Burmese, mana, arrogance, and ma, pride. Hybrid loan, e.g., neologisms or calcs, construction of compounds combining native Burmese words with Pali or combined Pali words. Airplane, la j bia, lit. Air machine fly, native Burmese, air, plus, from Pali yana, vehicle. Plus, native Burmese word, fly. Burmese has also adapted a great deal of words from Mon, traditionally spoken by the Mon people, who until recently formed the majority in Lower Burma. Most Mon loanwords are so well assimilated that they are not distinguished as loanwords as Burmese and Mon were used interchangeably for several centuries in pre colonial Burma. Mon loans are often related to flora, fauna, administration, textiles, foods, boats, crafts, architecture, and music. As a natural consequence of British rule in Burma, English has been another major source of vocabulary, especially with regard to technology, measurements, and modern institutions. English loanwords tend to take one of three forms direct loan, adoption of an English word, adapted to the Burmese phonology, democracy, English democracy, Burmese. Neologism or calc, translation of an English word using native Burmese constituent words. Human rights. English. Human rights. Burmese. Human. Plus. Rights. Hybrid loan, construction of compound words by native Burmese words to English words. To sign. S-A acute T-O acute. English. Sign. Plus. Native Burmese. Inscribe. To a lesser extent, Burmese has also imported words from Sanskrit religion, Hindi food, administration, and shipping, and Chinese games and food. Burmese has also imported a handful of words from other European languages such as Portuguese. Here is a sample of loanwords found in Burmese. Suffering, Dhaka, from Pali Dukkha Radio, Edio, from English, Radio Method, Sn, from Mon Eggroll KPJA from Hokkien Run Bing Jun Pai A acute to the power of N Wife Zani from Hindi Yani Noodle KASW from Shan KOSI Foot unit of measurement Pay from Portuguese Pay Flag La Arabic El Malam Storeroom Oda from Malay Gudang since the end of British rule the Burmese government has attempted to limit usage of western loans especially from English by coining new words neologisms for instance for the word television Burmese publications are mandated to use the term lit see picture hear sound in lieu of a direct English transliteration another example is the word vehicle which is officially j derived from Pali but ka from English car in spoken Burmese. Some previously common English loanwords have fallen out of usage with the adoption of neologisms. 
An example is the word university, formerly junibasti, from English university. Now, Teco, a Pali-derived neologism recently created by the Burmese government and derived from the Pali spelling of Taxila, Takasila, an ancient university town in modern-day Pakistan. Some words in Burmese may have many synonyms, each having certain usages, such as formal, literary, colloquial, and poetic. One example is the word moon, which can be la, native Tibeto-Burman, sada, sa, derivatives of Pali kanda, moon, or theta da, Sanskrit. Phonology The transcriptions in this section use the International Phonetic Alphabet. Consonants The consonants of Burmese are as follows Phonetic notes Carat 1, which was asterisk, s, in Pali and Ob, but was shifted forward by the shift of, asterisk, ts, s, is often transliterated as s and transcribed, theta, in msb but its actual pronunciation is closer to, tilde theta tilde t, a dental flap, often accompanied by aspiration or a slight dental fricative, although it can also be voiced. It has a short release generated by moving the tongue back sharply from an interdental position, and will sound to English speakers like a short dental fricative combined with elements of a tap or stop. Is the voiced allophone of, and is not itself a phoneme. Squared, s, is a complex phoneme to define. It is a reflex of the earlier, t, and then, ts, consonants. It is still distinguished from s, although it is not so much aspirated as pronounced breathy, and imparts a slight breathy quality to the following vowel making s, a more accurate, if more complex transcription. Cubed is rare, used only in toponyms and personal names that have retained Sanskrit or Pali pronunciations, such as Amarapura, pronounced ama, pua, and in English derived words. Historically, became j in Burmese and is usually replaced by j in Pali loanwords, e.g. monk, ra, hanta, jada, king, raja, jaza. Occasionally it is replaced with l, e.g. animal, t dot rack hcan, pronounced tsa grave or liesa grave. Carat 4, j, is often realized as particularly word initially. Carat 5, is rare, having disappeared from modern Burmese, except in transcriptions of foreign names and a handful of native words, medials and palatalization. Burmese permits the palatalization of certain letters. Besides u, which is often erroneously treated as a medial w, c vowels, Burmese only permits the palatal medial. This is derived from Old Burmese asterisk, j, asterisk, l, and asterisk, and is, therefore, reflected in various ways in different dialects. In MSB orthography, two spellings exist for the medial demonstrated on the consonant K, one reflecting an original J, Kentucky, and one an original KR. Official government Romanistchen still reflects this fact, as Myanmar, in official Romanistchen is rendered Emran Ma. The letter for L, is still pronounced as L, in initial position, but as a medial, it has completely merged with J, and in OB inscriptions this medial could be rendered with a subscript or stacked, as in a practice still used in the rare dialects, such as Tavoyan, Da where the L medial is still pronounced distinctly. Although the palatalization of the labials is simple per meter PPB, MPC PB, and the velar nasal predictably palatalizes into a palatal nasal, N. The palatalization of l leads, ostensibly to l, however it often causes vowel raising or breaking, and may remain unchanged before i. The velar stops k k g, palatalize into t, d. The alveolars, n t t d, and historical palatals, n s s z, cannot be followed by medials except in loan words, but even this is rare. Indeed, the letter asterisk j, z, s is almost indistinguishable from the s plus y sequence, and many combinations of alveolar plus medial will render poorly in certain font sets which were not designed to handle non-native combined graphs. The homorganic nasal and glottal stop. Only two consonants can occur word finally in native vocabulary, the homorganic or placeless nasal, and the homorganic or glottal stop. These bear some similarities to the Japanese moric n, n and sokuan su. The glottal stop is the realization of all four possible final consonants, p, t, s, k, and the retroflex, found in loan words. 
It has the effect of shortening the vowel and precluding it from bearing tone. This itself is often referred to as the checked or entering tone, following Chinese nomenclature. It can be realized as a geminate of a following stop, although this is purely allophonic and optional as the difference between the sequence, vdv, and, Vermont v, is only in the catch, and thus barely audible. The primary indicator of this final is the impact on the vowel. The final nasal, n, not to be confused with the standard IPA symbol, c below, is the value of the four native final nasals, per meter, n, n, as well as the retroflex, and nasalization mark Anasvara demonstrated here above ka. It does not, however, apply to, which is never realized as a nasal, but rather as an open front vowel I, e, or. The final nasal is usually realized as nasalization of the vowel. It may also allophonically appear as a homorganic nasal before stops. For example in per meter oda, storm, which is pronounced mo tilde und a tilde. It must be noted that the proper phonemic transcription is, n, which is a non-standard, but widely used IPA symbol for a homorganic nasal, similarly to, q, the common symbol for a homorganic obstruent. There is an increasing tendency across many linguistic media Wikipedia included to substitute the IPA symbol, small majuscule n, which is the symbol for the uvular nasal, a sound which does not exist in Burmese. This is largely due to the rarity of across languages and the fact that the use of a small majuscule makes transcription easier to read. Note that other languages with homorganic nasals, such as Japanese, also use intermittent in transcription. Nevertheless, the use of in Burmese transcription, though common and easy to read, is incorrect. Series of stops Burmese orthography is based on Brahmic script and can perfectly transcribe words from Pali, an Indic language. As a result, Burmese script uses far more symbols than Burmese needs for its phonemic inventory. Besides the set of retroflex consonants, which are pronounced as alveolar in Burmese, all stops come in sets of four, voiceless aspirated, voiceless, voiced, and voiced aspirated or murmured. The first set, p, t, s, k, and second set, p, t, s, k, are commonly used in Burmese. The voiced set, b, d, z, per gram, are used in Burmese but sparingly. They are frequently seen in loans from Pali. It may be possible to say that they exist only in loans, however some of the words they appear in are so old and deeply integrated into the language that the three-way voicing, aspiration distinction can still be said to be an important part of the language. The final set, b, d, z, per gram, are exceedingly rare. They are generally pronounced as voiced B -D -Z -G, or, when following a syllable final stop, aspirated P -T -S -K. The most common by far is, used in the negative indicative verb particle, bu B -U -acute, or P -U -acute, and also in some common loans such as, lekbik Although many poly loans with complex spellings are being simplified in common usage, leaving the phonetic rendering, in some T houses. Burmese voicing sandy Burmese exhibits voicing sandy. Traditionally, Burmese has voiced voiceless unaspirated stops into voiced stops, which at first, was allophonic. However, due to the influx of phonemic voiced stops from loanwords, and owing to the extension of sandy to voiceless aspirated stops as well, a feature which does not affect more conservative dialects, sandy has become an important part of Burmese phonology and word building. In brief, the following shifts can occur in MSB. Additionally, can become voiced under the same conditions, however this is purely allophonic since the voiced tilde eth tilde di phone does not exist in any other context. Sandy can occur in two environments. In the first environment, consonants become voiced between vowels or after nasals. This is similar to rendaku in Japanese. This therefore can affect any consonant except the first consonant of the phrase or a consonant preceded by a stop. E.g. hot water. Jebu, j, plus, pu, the second environment occurs around reduced syllables see reduction for more. When a syllable becomes reduced, the vowel and any final consonants are reduced to a short schwa. Reduction cannot occur in the final syllable of a word. When a syllable becomes reduced, if both the consonant preceding and following the schwa, i.e. the consonant of the reduced syllable and the consonant of the following syllable, are stops, then both will be voiced e.g. promise d. Ka, plus, t, in some compound works, the phoneme, d, when following the nasalized final, can shift to a, j, sound, e.g., blouse, 
Anki, Edi, Edgy, the phonemes p, p, b, t, t, d, when following the nasalized final can become per meter in compound words, e.g., to consult, ta p, ta m, e.g., to apologize, ta pa, ta ma, e.g., airplane, le jpia, lim ya, aspiration and devoicing. Although Burmese natively contrasts unaspirated and aspirated stops, there is an additional devoicing, aspirating feature. In OB, H or a syllable beginning with H could be prefixed to roots, merging over time with the consonant of the following syllable. In the case of the unaspirated stops, these are replaced with the aspirated letter, however, words beginning with per meter, N, N, L, J, J, with use a subscript diacritic called hata to indicate devoicing per meter, N, N, L, although as noted above, is incredibly rare. Devoicing in Burmese is not strong, particularly not on nasals. The sequence, N, A, is pronounced closer to N, A, than N, Na. In many Burmese verbs, pre-aspiration and post-aspiration distinguishes the causative and non-causative forms of verbs, where the aspirated initial consonant indicates active voice or a transitive verb, while an unaspirated initial consonant indicates passive voice or an intransitive verb, e.g., to cook, t, versus, to be cooked, e.g., to loosen, pj, versus, to be loosened, pj e.g., to elevate, m, j, versus, to be elevated. Topic. Vowels The vowels of Burmese are The monophthongs, e, o, and occur only in open syllables those without a syllable coda, the diphthongs, a, o, i, and o, occur only in closed syllables those with a syllable coda only occurs in a minor syllable, and is the only vowel that is permitted in a minor syllable see below. The close vowels, i, and, u, and the close portions of the diphthongs are somewhat mid-centralized, in closed syllables, i.e. before, and, thus, n, i, two, is phonetically, n, and, tau, cat, is phonetically, ta. Although this analysis is more or less correct from a purely phonetic point of view, it hides the diachronic nature of Burmese vowel development and mergers, and obfuscates the reasoning behind Burmese orthography. Topic: <laughs> Vowels in open syllables. Synchronically, there can be said to be a total of ten vowels in modern standard Burmese (MSB) open syllables: a, u, a, u, e, u, e, i, o, u. Although the vowels u a u u e are commonly treated as medial vowel sequences, reducing the vowel inventory of MSB in open syllables from 10 to 7, the behavior of u a u u e is unlike that of glide vowel combinations. See the section on glides below for a more complete explanation. Diachronically, however, all of the MSB open syllable vowels are derived from Old Burmese ob open syllables or diphthongs. The four vowels of ob were asterisk, a, asterisk, i, asterisk, o, asterisk, u. Early in the development of Burmese asterisk, o, broke to form asterisk, u, a. Additionally, any vowel could be followed by either of two glides, asterisk, j, and asterisk, with. The diphthongs which result from these glides were considered to be closed syllables in ob and as such, could not be followed by any other consonant. However, in MSB, all OB diphthongs have become monophthongs and are thus phonetically viewed as open syllables. As a result, the vowels U, E, U, E, O can only exist in open syllables in MSB with some rare exceptions, and the use of these sounds in closed syllables is the result of asterisk, A, asterisk, I, asterisk, U, A, asterisk, U, shifting before a final. The J offglide results in the E class vowels asterisk, A, J, Asterisk, I J E, asterisk, U A J U, asterisk, U J U E, respectively. Note the symmetry with the base vowel system. The closed vowels asterisk I and asterisk U create the mid-closed vowels E and U E, while asterisk A and asterisk O create the mid-open vowels and U. Similarly, the rounded on glide is a result of a rounded base vowel asterisk U or asterisk O. Currently, the with offglide is only believed to have existed in asterisk a ah, and asterisk uw, resulting in the MSBO class vowels and o, respectively. 
The absence of asterisk IW and asterisk OW in reconstructions is something of a mystery, however, it is possible that, by analogy with the J offglide, asterisk A, asterisk IW, asterisk OW, asterisk UW, all existed, resulting in pairs with or without the rounded on glide O, U, U, O, which later merged. This may explain why the Burmese orthography indicates the vowel, o, with both the diacritics for both the, i, and, u, vowels and, previously, a following consonantal, with. Topic. Finals MSB recognizes eight finals in native vocabulary which are all distinguished from their initial forms with the C-shaped superscript diacritic as at, which for ease of reading, is omitted here, the stops, p, t, C, K, and the nasals, per meter, N. All of the stops in final position are realized as a glottal stop, or, potentially, a geminate of a following stop which shortens the vowel and precludes it from bearing any tone. All of the nasals on the other hand nasalize the vowel but are not pronounced as consonants unless there is a following nasal or stop. Syllables ending on nasals can bear any of the three tones, but rarely have tone 1 short, high, creaky phonation. Finals are broadly grouped into two sets, front and back finals. Front finals include the labial and alveolar finals MN and PT which are not distinguished in MSB, leading to mergers such as, asterisk, ip, sleep, and, asterisk, it, bag, both pronounced e. In Tavoyan dialects however, the labial finals M and P often cause vowel breaking, asterisk, un, to, asterisk, um, to, ah. The back finals include the palatal finals C, and velar K, although their uses are even more complex. Current reconstruction holds that the OB vowel offglide sequences, which today are U, E, U, E, O, in MSB, counted as a closed syllables and thus could not be followed by a final. As a result, most closed syllables in MSB are built around the four basic vowels, A, I, U, A, U. Topic. Finals in loans In loan words, usually from Pali, L, tilde J, with, S, are found but are silent and do not affect the vowel, which continues to behave as an open syllable vowel. Also from Pali are the retroflex finals, and, which merge with their alveolar counterparts, as does the superscript diacritic, anisvara which is a pan brahmic nasalization mark functioning as a final M or N in MSB distinguished only by the fact that it bears tone 1 short, high, creaky by default, and can be modified to bear tone 3 long, high, high falling, breathy, but cannot bear tone 2 long, low, low rising. Other nasal syllables, by contrast, bear tone 2 by default, and must be modified to bear tones 1 or 3. The consonant is also seen with an asat diacritic, but this is the standard spelling for the vowel with tone 2 and is not viewed in any way as a final although, as noted above, this is an etymologically accurate rendering of which originated from the asterisk aj sequence. Finally, poly loan words, as well as loans from English or Chinese, may add a final after the vowel e. An example of this is the commonly displayed Pali word, metta, from Sanskrit metra metra, a Buddhist notion of sharing goodwill and positive wishes. This is exclusively used to transcribe an e vowel in closed syllables in loans, but cannot occur in native vocabulary, although many such loans, particularly from Pali, may be centuries old. Topic. Vowels before front finals the four basic vowels, a, i, u, a, u, can all occur before the front finals. In MSB before the p and t finals they are pronounced, ash, e, u, ash tilde, o, respectively. Similarly, before the m and n finals, vowels use the same qualities except that they are nasalized and are pronounced long by default thus giving, ash, u, ash tilde, o tilde. The variation between, and, u, ash, u, ash, is regional. North-central dialects in and around Mandalay tend to use the original opening diphthong while southern dialects in and around Yangon tend to use the monophthong. Both pronunciations are universally accepted and understood. In more conservative dialects, I, U, and asterisk, O, may not break, and thus remain, I, I, U, U, and, additionally asterisk, and, may move back, not forward, leaving, and not, ash, but all of these features are considered non-standard. Vowels before back finals The finals, originally asterisk, 
in ob, can only occur after the vowel, a, and are highly variable in pronunciation. Across Burmese dialects, does not nasalize the vowel, and tends to result in an open syllable monophthong, often with multiple possible realizations, on the other hand nasalizes the vowel and tends to have a more conservative pronunciation. As the original final was realized asterisk, a, ah, in ob, the vowel underwent a shift, a ah greater than aj greater than ajn greater than an greater than a ah greater than, e, i. The pronunciation of tends to be an tilde a tilde in the Rakhine Arakanese dialects, but in tilde in other dialects, including MSB and the conservative Tavoyan da dialect. In MSB, as most commonly pronounced, following the shift of asterisk aj greater than in open syllables, although it can be i and less often e. Tavoyan dialects restrict the pronunciation to exclusively, while Rakhine dialects use e. The final shows a lot of similarities to the development of. It similarly exists only after the vowel, a. Uh. In MSB and Tavoyan dialects it is pronounced as, but Rakhine dialects preserve it as, a, uh, following the same shift, a c greater than a j c greater than ak greater than a uh, greater than i. The velar finals, and can follow the vowels, a, uh, and, u, a, uh, and, unusually, and, o. Oh. In MSB, a, uh, and, u, a, uh, become, u, and, u, with the stop and nasal finals respectively. This is, it must be said, a distinctive feature of MSB however, as the Rakhine dialects shift the a uh, back to become, and Tavoyan dialects merge the ak-a uh, rhymes with the at and an ap-am rhymes, allegedly resulting in a, uh, a tilde, although it is unclear whether these are truly a uh, or a as in MSB. The rhymes asterisk k, asterisk are somewhat problematic from a linguistic perspective. Despite the fact that these rhymes are written with the same compound vowel diacritics which indicate the open syllable, as noted above, the rhyme asterisk, a, ah, is viewed by linguists to have been a closed syllable and thus, it is assumed that the asterisk, a, ah, vowel which resulted in msb, is distinct from the vowel in the rhymes asterisk, k, asterisk, which either did not exist in open syllables, or merged completely with a vowel which did. Whatever the etymology, in msb the rhymes asterisk, k, asterisk, are realized as, a, ah, a, ah, and realized, in Tavoyan. The rhymes asterisk, ok, asterisk, o, written with the compound vowel diacritic for o, are pronounced a, ah, and a, ah, respectively and are currently believed to have been innovations in Burmese, and as such their shared orthography with the o, vowel is coincidental. Topic. The closed syllable vowel inventory Just as open syllables have ten vowels, so too do closed syllables, a, U, ash tilde, U, U, E, O, A, A. It is worth noting that in Yangon MSB no vowel quality exists in both closed and open syllables, and that therefore nasalization cannot be said to be a contrastive feature in and of itself. Topic. Notes on glides Note that, the vocalic onglide, U, is usually transcribed both in phonetic transcription and in romanization as, with. This is due to the fact that, phonetically, it behaves as a medial, however, here the transcription, u, is used to emphasize that it is a part of the vowel and not a true medial like, j, romanized y. j, is derived from ob asterisk, j, asterisk, l, and asterisk, and is, therefore, reflected in various ways in different dialects. In MSB orthography two spellings exist for the medial, demonstrated on the consonant, k, one reflecting an original, j, Kentucky, and one an original, Kr and official government Romanistchen still reflects this fact Myanmar, in official Romanistchen is rendered Emranma. However, in MSB, asterisk, for which there is also a unique initial letter, is pronounced, J, in all instances usually realized as, initially, except in loan words. The letter for, L, is still pronounced as, L, in initial position, but as a medial, it has completely merged with, J, and, in OB inscriptions this medial could be rendered with a subscript or stacked, as in, a practice still used in the rare dialects, such as Tavoyan, Da where the, L, medial is still pronounced distinctly. These medials behave differently than the, U, onglide in the following ways. A medial asterisk, J, asterisk, L, asterisk, can be placed before the onglide, U, whereas two medials can never be used in the same syllable. The use of, U, is restricted by the vowel nucleus only used with a, e, and may in some cases drastically change the pronunciation of the vowel e.g. in yangon, wa, before a final becomes u, while a, before a final becomes a. 
However, it cannot affect the pronunciation of the initial. Glides are restricted by the preceding initial, and often change its pronunciation. Bearing in mind that MSB does not reliably indicate the development of asterisk, L, per meter, P, P, B, can apparently be followed by any glide, in which case the glide becomes. Similarly, K, K, and per gram, can be followed by any glide, in which case the cluster becomes T, or D, respectively. Can be followed by, but not, J, in which case the cluster becomes, merging with the palatal nasal letter. And finally, L, can be followed by, J, but not, it should be noted that this is rare and in Yangon MSB this represents the only case where the medial impacts the vowel, whereby the sequence, asterisk, LJA, is realized li. Tavoyan front vowels are frequently raised following, J, there is, at least in Yangon MSB, no difference between an initial, J, with and a null initial with, J, U. This extends to a, with initial followed by a, U, onglide. Therefore, in Yangon and likely much of MSB, wa, o, a, and wu, a, are pronounced identically. Topic. Tones Burmese is a tonal language, which means phonemic contrasts can be made on the basis of the tone of a vowel. In Burmese, these contrasts involve not only pitch, but also phonation, intensity, loudness, duration, and vowel quality. However, some linguists consider Burmese a pitch register language like Shanghainese. There are four contrastive tones in Burmese. In the following table, the tones are shown marked on the vowel, a, as an example. For example, the following words are distinguished from each other only on the basis of tone. Low, ka grave, shake. High, ka acute, be bitter. Creaky, ka, fee. Checked, k a, draw off, in syllables ending with, the check tone is excluded. Low, k a grave, undergo. High, k a acute, dry up. Creaky, k a, a point. In spoken Burmese, some linguists classify two real tones. There are four nominal tones transcribed in written Burmese. High, applied to words that terminate with a stop or check, high rising pitch, and ordinary. Unchecked and non-glottal words, with falling or lower pitch, with those tones encompassing a variety of pitches. The ordinary tone consists of a range of pitches. Linguist L. F. Taylor concluded that conversational rhythm and euphonic intonation possess importance, not found in related tonal languages and that its tonal system is now in an advanced state of decay. Topic. Syllable structure. The syllable structure of Burmese is C, G, V, V, C, which is to say the onset consists of a consonant optionally followed by a glide, and the rhyme consists of a monophthong alone, a monophthong with a consonant, or a diphthong with a consonant. The only consonants that can stand in the coda are and some representative words are CV per meter E, girl, CVC per meter, crave, CGV, mye, earth. CGVC, I. CVVC per meter A, term of address for young men. CGVVC, Mya, Dicha minor syllable has some restrictions. It contains, as its only vowel, it must be an open syllable, no coda consonant. It cannot bear tone. It has only a simple C onset, no glide after the consonant. It must not be the final syllable of the word. Some examples of words containing minor syllables slash k dot low, knob slash p dot l w e, flute theta, j, mock k, l, b wanton t, m, j, rice water. Topic Alphabet The Burmese alphabet consists of 33 letters and 12 vowels, and is written from left to right. It requires no spaces between words, although modern writing usually contains spaces after each clause to enhance readability. Characterized by its circular letters and diacritics, the script is an abugida, with all letters having an inherent vowel a, a, or a. The consonants are arranged into six consonant groups called, based on articulation, like other Brahmi scripts. 
Tone markings and vowel modifications are written as diacritics placed to the left, right, top, and bottom of letters. The development of the script followed that of the language, which is generally divided into Old Burmese, Middle Burmese, and Modern Burmese. Old Burmese dates from the 11th to the 16th century Pagan and Ava dynasties, Middle Burmese from the 16th to the 18th century Tungu to early Kanbong dynasties, Modern Burmese from the mid-18th century to the present. Orthographic changes followed shifts in phonology such as the merging of the L and medials rather than transformations in Burmese grammatical structure and phonology, which has not changed much from Old Burmese to Modern Burmese. For example, during the pagan era, the medial l was transcribed in writing, which has been replaced by medials j and in modern Burmese, e.g., school, in old Burmese, kl, ta in modern Burmese. Likewise, written Burmese has preserved all nasalized finals n, m, which have merged to in spoken Burmese, the exception is which, in spoken Burmese, can be one of many open vowels, i.e., Likewise, other consonantal finals s, p, t, k have been reduced to Similar mergers are seen in other Sino-Tibetan languages like Shanghainese, and to a lesser extent, Cantonese. Written Burmese dates to the early pagan period. The British colonial period scholars believed that the Burmese script was developed c. 1058 from the Mon script. However, evidence shows that the Burmese script has been in use at least since 1035, perhaps as early as 984, while the earliest Burma Mon script, which is different from the Thailand Mon script, dates to 1093. The Burmese script may have been sourced from the Pyu script. Both Mon and Pyu scripts are derivatives of the Brahmi script. Burmese orthography originally followed a square format, but the cursive format took hold from the 17th century when popular writing led to the wider use of palm leaves and folded paper known as parabiaks. Much of the orthography in written Burmese today can be traced back to Middle Burmese. Standardized tone marking was not achieved until the 18th century. From the 19th century onward, orthographers created spellers to reform Burmese spelling, because ambiguities arose over spelling sounds that had been merged. During British colonial rule, Burmese spelling was standardized through dictionaries and spellers. The latest spelling authority, named the Myanmar Salonpong Thapon Kian, was compiled in 1978 at the request of the Burmese government. Grammar. The basic word order of the Burmese language is subject-object-verb. Pronouns in Burmese vary according to the gender and status of the audience. Burmese is monosyllabic i.e., every word is a root to which a particle but not another word may be prefixed. Sentence structure determines syntactical relations and verbs are not conjugated. Instead they have particles suffixed to them. For example, the verb, to eat, ca, sa, is itself unchanged when modified. Topic. Adjectives Burmese does not have adjectives per se. Rather, it has verbs that carry the meaning, to be x, where x is an English adjective. These verbs can modify a noun by means of the grammatical particle, tai. D in colloquial Burmese literary form, sao, theta, which is suffixed as follows. Colloquial, hkyau, tai, lu, td lu. Formal, hkyau, so, lu. Gloss, beautiful, plus adjective particle plus, person. Adjectives may also form a compound with the noun, e.g., lu hkyau, lu t, person, plus, be beautiful. Comparatives are usually ordered, x plus, htakpui te po plus adjective, where x is the object being compared to. Superlatives are indicated with the prefix, a plus adjective plus, hcum, zo. Numerals follow the nouns they modify. Moreover, numerals follow several pronunciation rules that involve tone changes low tone, creaky tone and voicing shifts depending on the pronunciation of surrounding words. A more thorough explanation is found on Burmese numerals. Verbs <inaudible> 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 The roots of Burmese verbs are almost always suffixed with at least one particle which conveys such information as tense, intention, politeness, mood, etc. Many of these particles also have formal, literary and colloquial equivalents. 
In fact, the only time in which no particle is attached to a verb is in imperative commands. The most commonly used verb particles and their usage are shown below with an example verb root, ca, saw, to eat. Alone, the statement, is imperative. The suffix, ti, d, literary form, sani, i, can be viewed as a particle marking the present tense and or a factual statement. Ca, ti, saw d, i eat, the suffix, hkai, denotes that the action took place in the past. However, this particle is not always necessary to indicate the past tense such that it can convey the same information without it. But to emphasize that the action happened before another event that is also currently being discussed, the particle becomes imperative. Note that the suffix ti d in this case denotes a factual statement rather than the present tense. Ca, hkai, ti sa d, i ate. The particle, ne, ne, is used to denote an action in progression. It is equivalent to the English, ing, ca, ne tai, sa ne d, I am eating. This particle, pri, b, which is used when an action that had been expected to be performed by the subject is now finally being performed, has no equivalent in English. So in the above example, if someone had been expecting you to eat and you have finally started eating, the particle, is used as follows, Ca, ca, pri, sa b, I am now eating. The particle, my m literary form, many mg is used to indicate the future tense or an action which is yet to be performed. Ca, my sa m, I will eat. The particle, tau, d is used when the action is about to be performed immediately when used in conjunction with. Therefore it could be termed as the immediate future tense particle. Ca, tau, my, sa dm, I'm going to eat, straight away. When, is used alone, however, it is imperative. Ca, tau, sa d, eat, now. Verbs are negated by the particle, ma, m, which is prefixed to the verb. Generally speaking, other particles are suffixed to that verb, along with the verb suffix particle, ni, n, literary form, h nong, n, indicates a command. Ma dot ca, ni. Msa n don't eat the verb suffix particle, bhu, bu indicates a statement. Ma. Ca, bhu, msa bu. I don't eat. Topic. Nouns Nouns in Burmese are pluralized by suffixing the particle twe da or te if the word ends in a glottal stop in colloquial Burmese or mya mya in formal Burmese. The particle tou to, which indicates a group of persons or things, is also suffixed to the modified noun. An example is below: mrac river, mrac twe te rivers, colloquial. MRAC MYA, MYA, rivers, formal MRAC TOU, to rivers. Plural suffixes are not used when the noun is quantified with a number. Although Burmese does not have grammatical gender, e.g., masculine or feminine nouns, a distinction is made between the sexes, especially in animals and plants, by means of suffix particles. Nouns are masculinized with the following particles: HTI, TI acute, HPA, PA or HPUI PO grave, depending on the noun, and feminized with the particle ma. Ma. Examples of usage are below. Krong HTI, ta ti acute, male cat. Krong ma, ta ma, female cat. Crack HPA, pia, rooster, cock. HTAN, HPUI, TA acute PO grave, male toddy palm plant. Topic. Numerical classifiers Like its neighboring languages such as Thai, Bengali, and Chinese, Burmese uses numerical classifiers also called measure words when nouns are counted or quantified. This approximately equates to English expressions such as two slices of bread or a cup of coffee. Classifiers are required when counting nouns, so hka, la, na, k le a lit. Child 5 is ungrammatical, because the measure word for people, yak, jaw, needs to suffix the numeral. 
The standard word order of quantified words is, quantified noun plus numeral adjective plus classifier, except in round numbers numbers that end in zero, in which the word order is flipped, where the quantified noun precedes the classifier, quantified noun plus classifier plus numeral adjective. The only exception to this rule is the number 10, which follows the standard word order. Measurements of time, such as hour, day, or month, do not require classifiers. Below are some of the most commonly used classifiers in Burmese. Topic. Particles The Burmese language makes prominent usage of particles called, in Burmese, which are untranslatable words that are suffixed or prefixed to words to indicate level of respect, grammatical tense, or mood. According to the Myanmar English Dictionary 1993, there are 449 particles in the Burmese language. For example, sa is a grammatical particle used to indicate the imperative mood. While work plus particle indicating politeness does not indicate the imperative work plus particle indicating imperative mood plus particle indicating politeness does. Particles may be combined in some cases, especially those modifying verbs. Some particles modify the words part of speech. Among the most prominent of these is the particle, which is prefixed to verbs and adjectives to form nouns or adverbs. For instance, the word, means, to enter, but combined with, it means, entrance. Also, in colloquial Burmese, there is a tendency to omit the second, in words that follow the pattern, plus noun, adverb plus, plus noun, adverb, like, which is pronounced, a u, and formally pronounced, a o. Topic. Pronouns Subject pronouns begin sentences, though the subject is generally omitted in the imperative forms and in conversation. Grammatically speaking, subject marker particles, a, in colloquial, theta i grave, in formal, must be attached to the subject pronoun, although they are also generally omitted in conversation. Object pronouns must have an object marker particle, o, in colloquial, a, in formal, attached immediately after the pronoun. Proper nouns are often substituted for pronouns. One's status in relation to the audience determines the pronouns used, with certain pronouns used for different audiences. Polite pronouns are used to address elders, teachers and strangers, through the use of feudal era third-person pronouns in lieu of first and second-person pronouns. In such situations, one refers to oneself in third person, kya, now, tian, for men and kya, ma, tma, for women, both meaning, your servant, and refer to the addressee as, min, m, your highness, kang bya, k mya, master, lord, from Burmese, meaning, lord master, or, harang, ruler, master. So ingrained are these terms in the daily polite speech that people use them as the first and second person pronouns without giving a second thought to the root meaning of these pronouns. When speaking to a person of the same status or of younger age, na, a, i, me, and nong, n, you, may be used, although most speakers choose to use third person pronouns. For example, an older person may use, dola, d lay, aunt, or, you, lay, you lay, uncle. To refer to himself, while a younger person may use either sa, theta a acute, son, or sa, me, theta me, daughter. The basic pronouns are asterisk the basic particle to indicate plurality is tui, colloquial, dewey, used by male speakers. Used by female speakers, other pronouns are reserved for speaking with bhikkhus, Buddhist monks. When speaking to a bhikkhu, pronouns like boon, boon, from fun, kri, monk, charado, s jod, royal teacher, and a dot harang bhu, ra, p ja, your lordship, are used depending on their status. When referring to oneself, terms like ta, pei, tao, royal disciple, or da, ka, da, donor, are used. When speaking to a monk, the following pronouns are used the particle ma. Is suffixed for women. Typically reserved for the chief monk of a kayong monastery underscore, in colloquial Burmese, possessive pronouns are contracted when the root pronoun itself is low-toned. This does not occur in literary Burmese, which uses i as postpositional marker for possessive case instead of j. Examples include the following a i 
plus postpositional marker for possessive case equals a ah, my n u plus postpositional marker for possessive case equals n your theta u grave he she plus postpositional marker for possessive case equals theta his her the contraction also occurs in some low toned nouns making them possessive nouns e.g. or mothers and Myanmar's respectively topic <laughs> family terms minor pronunciation differences do exist within regions of Irrawaddy Valley for example the pronunciation s of food offering to a monk is preferred in Lower Burma, instead of Swa, which is preferred in Upper Burma. However, the most obvious difference between Upper Burmese and Lower Burmese is that Upper Burmese speech still differentiates maternal and paternal sides of a family. One the youngest paternal or maternal aunt may be called Dwe Le, and the youngest paternal uncle, Ba, Dwe. In a testament to the power of media, the Yangon-based speech is gaining currency even in Upper Burma. Upper Burmese specific usage, while historically and technically accurate, is increasingly viewed as countrified speech, or at best regional speech. In fact, some usages are already considered strictly regional Upper Burmese speech, and are likely dying out. For example, In general, the male-centric names of Old Burmese for familial terms have been replaced in Standard Burmese with formerly female-centric terms, which are now used by both sexes. One holdover is the use of younger brother to a male and younger brother to a female. Terms like elder brother to a male and younger sister to a male now are used in standard Burmese only as part of compound words like brothers or brother and sister. Topic. Reduplication Reduplication is prevalent in Burmese and is used to intensify or weaken adjectives' meanings. For example, T. Beautiful is reduplicated, the intensity of the adjective's meaning increases. Many Burmese words, especially adjectives with two syllables, such as l, a, pa, beautiful, when reduplicated, l, a, l, a, pa, pa, become adverbs. This is also true of some Burmese verbs and nouns, e.g., a moment, frequently, which become adverbs when reduplicated. Some nouns are also reduplicated to indicate plurality. For instance, pg, country, but when reduplicated to pg pg, country, means many countries, as in pg pg sa grave ya, international. Another example is, which means a kind, but the reduplicated form means multiple kinds. A few measure words can also be reduplicated to indicate one or the other. Measure word for people, someone. Measure word for things, something. Topic. Romanization and transcription There is no official romanization system for Burmese. There have been attempts to make one, but none have been successful. Replicating Burmese sounds in the Latin script is complicated. There is a poly-based transcription system in existence, MLC transcription system which was devised by the Myanmar Language Commission MLC. However, it only transcribes sounds in formal Burmese and is based on the orthography rather than the phonology. Several colloquial transcription systems have been proposed, but none is overwhelmingly preferred over others. Transcription of Burmese is not standardized, as seen in the varying English transcriptions of Burmese names. For instance, a Burmese personal name like W may be variously romanized as Win, 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 or Win, while Ka Grave may be romanized as Kang, Kine, or Kane. Topic: <laughs> Computer fonts and standard keyboard layout. The Burmese script can be entered from a standard QWERTY keyboard and is supported within the Unicode standard, meaning it can be read and written from most modern computers and smartphones. Burmese has complex character rendering requirements, where tone markings and vowel modifications are noted using diacritics. These can be placed before consonants as with, above them as with, or even around them as with. These character clusters are built using multiple keystrokes. 
In particular, the inconsistent placement of diacritics as a feature of the language presents a conflict between an intuitive WYSIWYG typing approach, and a logical consonant-first storage approach. Since its introduction in 2007, the most popular Burmese font, Zagui, has been near ubiquitous in Myanmar. Linguist Justin Watkins argues that the ubiquitous use of Zagui harms Myanmar languages, including Burmese, by preventing efficient sorting, searching, processing, and analyzing Myanmar text through flexible diacritic ordering. Zagui is not Unicode compliant, but occupies the same code space as Unicode Myanmar font. As it is not defined as a standard character encoding, Zagui is not built into any major operating systems as standard. However, allow for its position as the de facto but largely undocumented standard within the country. Telcos and major smartphone distributors such as Huawei and Samsung ship phones with Zagui font overriding standard Unicode compliant fonts, which are installed on most internationally distributed hardware. Facebook also supports Zagui as an additional language encoding for their app and website. As a result, almost all SMS alerts including those from telcos to their customers, social media posts and other web resources may be incomprehensible on these devices without the custom Zagui font installed at the operating system level. These may include devices purchased overseas, or distributed by companies who do not customize software for the local market. Keyboards which have a Zagui keyboard layout printed on them are the most commonly available for purchase domestically. Until recently, Unicode-compliant fonts have been more difficult to type than Zagui, as they have a stricter, less forgiving and arguably less intuitive method for ordering diacritics. However, intelligent input software such as Keymagic and recent versions of smartphone soft keyboards including Gboard and TT Keyboard allow for more forgiving input sequences and Zagui keyboard layouts which produce Unicode-compliant text. A number of Unicode-compliant Burmese fonts exist. The national standard keyboard layout is known as the Myanmar 3 layout, and it was published along with the Myanmar 3 Unicode font. The layout, developed by the Myanmar Unicode and NLP Research Center, has a smart input system to cover the complex structures of Burmese and related scripts. In addition to the development of computer fonts and standard keyboard layout, there is still a lot of scope of research for the Burmese language, specifically for natural language processing NLP areas like WordNet, search engine, development of parallel corpus for Burmese language as well as development of a formally standardized and dense domain-specific corpus of Burmese language. Notes References Bibliography External links Burmese Phrasebook Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Omniglot, Burmese Language Learn Burmese Online Online Burmese Lessons Burmese Language Resources from SOAS E-books for children with narration in Burmese. Unite for Literacy Library. Retrieved 21 June 2014. Myanmar Unicode and NLP Research Center Myanmar 3 Font and Keyboard Burmese Online Dictionary Unicode. Air Myanmar Online Dictionary Myanmar Unicode Character Table Download canonconverter underscore window underscore build 200508. Zip from the Kanong project page and unzip Ka Nong converter engine.